Hi, my name is Nosha, some of you guys know me, Shalom, Spurs Video Podcast. Apologies for the rather angry um, video on Saturday, but let's face it, you were at the game. Um, in the Telegraph, there's a really good article about why Spurs are doing so poorly, and I think if we have run out of steam. There's a really interesting stat for those who are watching ESPN. Luca has played, was it the last, the last 20 odd games? He's played the full 90 minutes. So if he's playing poorly, it's because the guy is knackered. And those who are saying, oh, well, you know, why should these players be knackered? You know, these are athletes. Well, yeah, these are these are athletes, and they are incredibly well compensated. But if the, you know, look, just you know, the tragic thing that happened to that Italian player and, you know, that, um, and to Fabrice Moamba, you know, the human body is a frail thing. And you can push it and push it and push it, you know. And sometimes your body will just not, cannot be pushed to that level. And, you know, we want these levels of performances, and that's why you have a squad, you rotate it. I love Harry said we've got a small squad. No, you don't. You've got a squad of 25. It's up to you to, you know, make it what it is. And if you can't bring the players in, then, incredibly, you coach them to become the players you want them to be. You know, because a lot of coaching is not just about managing and team set, it's a lot about coaching. And that thing, that's what Harry always says. He's always talking about an excuse, because Harry Redknapp, Look, you know, he's the kind of guy that, you know, he's the kind of guy, and I hate to call him a cockroach, but he could survive a nuclear explosion. He could, he would survive. You know, this guy's a born survivor, and you've got to give him credit for that. And I give him credit for a lot of things. I mean, you know, look, two put from eight, we're in the, we're in the Champions League, and, look, beating into Milan, that has to be, I and mean, that's the reason why I bought the Investec shirt, because that memory, you know, beating the European champions, you know, out that the lane, I mean, you just can't. I mean, I know other teams won't do it afters, but for us to do that, man, it was just an amazing. You know, and th- you know, that, you know, being AC Milan and you know, I mean, some really great memories and being in Arsenal and doing all you know, loads of things. But you know, he's let go of Peanut when we desperately needed whip. He let go of Peanut when there was no one to come in, to, you know, to replace him. You know, even Modric. You know what? He can't play ninety minutes. Do you know what? Substitute him. You know. Now obviously he can't because often sometimes he substitutes Rafa and sometimes it's a bit unfortunate, you know, you know he has to use up all three subs. But sometimes you know, just don't play Modric. Play two defensive midfielders, play a four-two-three-one or something. Rotate the tactics around it. But again, he refused to do that. And his ability to squad rotate, look, we we can't compete with the wages. I mean, we can. I think transfer fees we can, because. The amortization process means it's not really much of a much of an issue, but wages, having such a huge you know non-current liability hanging on your balance sheet, you know it's in a you know, it, it could kill a club. You know as Leeds found out, you know having such high wages, and look look at what happened to Rangers, look what happened to many clubs that aren't managed well. We can't do that. Having seen the devastation that happened in and around the club, loads of things been demolished like my former car garage, you know, and obviously him. You know, Leeb's a very smart guy. He's you know, he's got a supermarket in. I don't know what they've got at the Emirates. I don't know what they've got at say the Stadium of Light because you know they're bigger stadiums. But I've seen like empty rows of Stadium of Light. You know, they can pack it out. Yeah, there's a big giant there, but I'm surprised. I'm not seeing some empty seats there. And so he's very you know, Leeb's been a smart guy. He realizes you know what, I've got this huge amount of property here, and although yeah, twenty odd weeks of the year I can fill it out. You know, maybe 30 weeks, I'm very lucky. During you know, the rest of the year, I've got to make it earn money. And he's very smart. He's rented out to Sainsbury. You know, he's going to rent that out to Sainsbury. The rent he'll collect on that is a fortune he'll collect. And he's been very smart. And that'll help running the club. And hopefully, you know, the NDP won't make us a lot, you know, a fair bundle of cash. And if TFL put their finger out and actually start building a tube. You know, like, you know, developing you know, Northumberland Park, Northumberland Park Station, and extending the Victoria Line not only to there but to Edmonton, and really revitalising that whole area, then I think we can see some positive results. Um, here, you know, I I don't know what I want really. I mean, if Levy does go, if Levy does say, Do you know, Harry, you're fired. Obviously, we've spoken about like, you know, England want Harry. Harry wants England. I think he's come to the end of his natural term. I can't think of many clubs that Harry's been at, and apart from, say, Bournemouth, where he stayed out for, say, a long time. Obviously, he was fired at West Ham. Um, Pompey, he was there for a while. Obviously, he decided, you know, he didn't like the way things were, so he moved on. 
Southampton, went back to Pompey. You know, he he's not someone I think you can really build a legacy. Um, very few managers are like that. The only one I can think of that have really stayed and really built something. Alex Ferguson, Arsene Wenger, you know, in the modern era. And that's it's really hard. I mean, I won't deny it. Everyone knows how hard it is to do that. Um, you know, people are looking at who you'd like to bring in. Obviously, I like the idea of Van Gaal because, you know, he obviously he was at Ajax. So he, he, he's got a good idea about how to build, you know, a, you know that team. Obviously, because, well, let's face it, I mean, was Ajax's triumph due to him being the manager or was it him having... An incredible, I mean, that was an incredible crop of players. I mean, 11 years after their triumph, a lot of their players were still playing competitively. And even now, to this day, I mean, you know, Clarence Seedorf was still playing the full 17 years after that. So I think so he had, so, you yeah, know, he had such an amazing team. So, and, but then again, yeah, Bayern Munich, he did take them there. And, yeah, they had a pretty good side. Just, you know, Inter Milan was just a better team that day, you know, so... I think he has built something decent, and that's someone who I'd like to bring in because I think he can build something. If not Van Gaal, I'm actually people going up Brandon Rogers, Paul Lambert. They have enough Premiership experience, you know. I actually would like to bring someone like maybe Martinez, someone who knows the Premiership, plays good football, gets his players playing for him. He may not be a big name, but let's face it, Harry was a big name in English circles, but he wasn't like a big name manager. I and mean, there are there are very few what I call big big name managers the only one I can think of that I know Spurs will never go for but Milo Neal I, I, I've always rated him I've always thought of him as a great manager but he does you know he does play that kind of what I call the ugly kind of football you know with, you know, and then I like what I like about Martinez he's been loyal to his chairman he had the chance to move to Aston Villa who are a big club I've seen the DW Stadium and they've been you know loads of empty seats Aston Villa you know ended up buying quite a few players I think they bought in Zogbia you know, not obviously not using them, right? But I just think, you know, Martinez is someone, you know, he started the process off at Swansea. And who knows? I've always, he always comes across as a very intelligent young guy. He's passionate. You know, he's got his technical. You know, is he going to be a big enough name? I don't think we need to. Who wants a big name, you know? I want someone who actually cares about the club and is willing to fight for the club. And I just don't see Harry Redknapp's one doing that anymore. Harry, if you look at the Telegraph article again, He'll blame everyone but himself, you know. And he's very wise after the event. I mean, look at what he did. I mean, look, there are times Harry has pulled out the rabbit out of the hat. I mean, two 0 down, and then you know we come back three two against Arsenal. I mean, you've got to give him credit for that. You know, the players, it all comes to right. But I think sometimes the magic doesn't work. Just like the, I guess the big example is RBA. Just because it works once, it works two, it works in two thousand eight, two thousand two nine. Maybe it just doesn't work. That strategy, the way it mixes, I think you have to re refresh it up just for the sake of refreshing it. And that that doesn't just come with players, it comes with management. And in terms of coaching, I just don't know if we've really seen improvements in players. The only player I can say that I can think has really improved is say Gareth Bale. And then I can say, yeah, he's using his left foot a bit more, but I just think we need to see improvements. Uh, you know, Brendan Rodgers, if you see the coaching he's got, he's got those players, he's got them playing. He's got them to believe in his philosophy, he's got them playing. You know? And I think if we can do that, we can get a manager that does that because I don't think Levy will. You know, it's not a good idea to screw the FA to the wall <laughs> for obvious reasons. But if we got between five and eight million for Arneson and he wasn't even our manager, I'm not saying it's an illegal approach. But in kind of conversation, we we can we can easily argue for at least ten fifteen million. We can say, look, under how we've achieved X, X Y Z, we have to get a new manager. We don't know what the success success will be. So definitely, let's you know, hopefully get as much as we can. I think. You know, if you were to get, say, I don't know, Jose Mourinho, I mean, I think, I mean, obviously that package is ridiculous. That's like a, I don't know how much Inter Milan spent, like 20 or 30 or million or something they were, they were given. But, you know, I think Harry, I think we can look at these, what, 10, 12, 14 million. And obviously we have to spend that to give someone like, say, Martinez or Rogers, but or even Van Gaal, who's he's available, he's not working right now. So, yeah, who knows? Hopefully, you know, we've got a week break and we can, you know, win the next four games. And you know, somehow manage to sneak into fourth. You know, as long as we can avoid a few lasagnas along the way. As always, I'm gonna give a big shout out to you know everyone. Debs, if you guys have met Debs and her husband Michael, they're the biggest Spurs fans I've ever met. They're real true blue Spurs, true no true blue Spurs, true you know White Hart Lane guys, true proper Spurs. 
So yeah, there's a good shout out to him. And Spurs Forum, Spurs Odyssey, top Spurs. As always, come on you Spurs.